Hi guys, how are you? Mind this one, Titanium. Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing. Patreon.com slash Real Macro. And also Patreon.com slash BKC. All right, so let's get started with this video. Um, as I've been posting uh, some of these charts on Facebook and Twitter, uh, usually I don't give out this kind of information. I keep it for my subscribers, but uh, we're in an interesting point, and I think everybody should see what we do and what we're saying and what we're calling for. Um, number one, as I mentioned in a in a previous video and multiple posts, if you go back uh, to uh, and you know, you know what, let me just mark this real, real quick so everybody can just see it. Uh, where is it? Da, 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 da. All right. If you go back to August 30th, 2018, till today, the maximum that the uh, perma bears, or I'm sorry, perma bulls uh, could muster was a 4.35% um, gain for a period of time. Okay. During that time, they absorbed a huge drawdown of 24%, and then here's about 10%. Okay, and then another drawdown. So. Um, clearly, as you can see, we are more or less in a sideways market. Now, as I said previously, and don't get caught up with trade wars, don't get caught up with uh, impeachment and blah, 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 all this bullshit. Don't get caught up into that. The biggest threat to the market, to the economy right now, is what the market is saying. And it's this rising wedge this this whole structure right in here is setting up for a downside more likely than not do i know what the future is going to hold no idea it's not my job to know okay i don't guess i don't give a shit what it does i am just telling you what the structure is showing all right what has happened in the past 13 months and and here's another thing people are like well in this past year and since 2018 and in the past three months and the past week and then the market doesn't give a shit about calendars all right uh the market is up 11 years it's got to go down the market doesn't give a shit about you know how long it's been going up the economic data doesn't give a shit about how long it's been going up or how you know we're in the longest job expansion longest economic expansion that stuff does not matter okay so uh, the faster that you, you start to realize that, the better, all right? So there's got to be a confluence of economics that come together under certain circumstances uh, in order for uh, the economy to either go sideways or go into a recession. It's not that easy. It literally is not that easy, especially with so much money floating throughout the world economy. A lot of it has to do with uh, private uh, money creation of banking, they're lending again. A lot of it has to do with uh, public deficits, okay, worldwide. And a lot of it has to do with quantitative easing. And you can look at the US, you can look at the Bank of Japan, you can look at Europe, even China, okay. Everybody's converting bonds into liquid asset reserve cash, all right. So all this money that's, you know, floating around every which way uh, has contributed to this longest uh, economic expansion for the U.S. Despite all that wonderful news and everything is great, there is a weakness in the market. And you can see that weakness both uh, on a shorter time frame, which is this gap right up here, and then on the bigger time frame uh, right up here. And you can see it over the past of the uh, 13 months, right? The market has not really gone anywhere. And yet you're going to have the bulls tell you, bye, 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 don't worry, but don't worry. Well, yeah, you've been saying that for fucking 13 months, and all we mustered was 14.35%. Uh, Flip side of that coin. Oh, the market's going to crash, the market's going to crash, the market's going to crash. And every time the market went down, the market came right back up. Okay, so everybody is equally fucked up okay nobody's right and and that's the difficulty of trading a sideways market it's not easy 
definitely not easy. And I'll be the first one to tell you all about it. All right, so we have this structure in here. Last time I made a video or posted, and I said, look for this one to start to break down. Okay, uh, it did break down, and that's that's what this video is about. Now, this could set off a sequence of events where uh, it comes all the way to the to the bottom of the structure. Okay, could bounce a little bit, could make a lot of noise in here. Okay, so long as it's within this bigger structure, price action can move in any which way. Okay, but there's also a possibility that once this uh, breaks down, it sets off a chain of, uh, of events that starts doing something like this. Okay, and when it happens, it happens fairly quickly. If this is the case, and I'm right, okay, then uh, we are in the infancy stage of this uh, violent move that could come uh, in the in the months ahead. So we're going to pay attention to it. Uh, we're going to follow it. Uh, in this bull market, in the past 11 years, you have never had uh, a price action that came all the way down here and not get tested in some way. Doesn't come. Doesn't have to come all the way down here. Come all the way just before the previous low and then bounce or come all the way to the bottom break it and then bounce okay it's just not happened so the likelihood is that we will more or less test this previous low made back in December now the question is is it going to be sooner rather than later I don't know I don't have a magic crystal ball I don't have models uh, I cannot tell you that, okay? That's not my job. One of my job is to, to, to assess risk-reward. That's that's what I do. If I'm right, I'm going to be very right. And if I'm wrong, I'm not going to be that wrong, okay? And that's the whole name of the game. You don't want to be that wrong, okay? There's nothing wrong with being wrong. Just don't stay wrong, okay? Um, so this is the, the, the analysis. Uh, and it is starting to move in that direction um, when you look at the what I call the fags okay they've actually since October 18th have gone nowhere in fact uh, they're not, they're down 12 percent and they're literally less than eight percent from a bear market all right now think about that <laughs> if the market leaders are not gonna push the market higher then who will GE Procter & Gamble yeah, you, know, you see the problem, right? So if the market leaders are not going to be uh, pushing the market higher and they're almost going into a bear market territory, then you can you can safely assume that the market is not going to go much higher either. Now, the key word there is assume. OK, nobody knows what's going to happen. Market leaders can start kicking ass tomorrow. Everything goes, you know, into euphoria land. Anything is possible. That's not. We you don't make money by guessing. Okay, you pick your you pick your risk rewards. You look at the data, the economic data. You contrast that with price action, money flows, and then from there is how you make your determination as to which way you want to invest. One last chart that I'm going to show you is the 10-year. A lot of people got so excited about uh, the interest rates you know, popping back up again from well, 140 to 190. Oh, 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 oh the perma bulls. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, don't worry about it until you have to worry about it, right? And here we go, right back down again. Okay, so we are at 164. We had a dead cat bounce, and now we're going back down that's not that's not good for the markets it's not good for banks it's not good for anybody so why do i say that well yes definitely lower interest rates uh, stimulate uh, borrowing okay and then uh, uh, loans create deposits and deposits are spent and then it goes into uh, it becomes income to somebody income savings or profit savings and then that circulates throughout the economy creating the wealth effect uh, so that stimulates everything and everything goes back up. So that's why I was saying a while back that, you know, the market gave itself a stimulus. The problem is that the long end, the 30 year, 10 year, 20 year, the long end of the yield curve came down right, right with it. And 
when you look at the three month and then you look at the longer dated uh, b uh, bond interest rates, they are flat to inverted. And when that happens, banks don't make money. Banks don't make money, banks are not gonna lend money. So what we want ideally is to have low interest rates with a steep yield curve. That's what you want, because then banks will be uh, incentivized to lend. Now, some of these things that I'm saying to you might be a little bit complex, and I, I understand you, you probably don't understand, but if you do want to learn how to understand it, come down to patreon.com slash real macro, and uh, that's, that's where we, we do most of our work. It's uh, 24 hours a day, live uh, on Facebook Messenger, and we can help you uh, start to understand all this stuff. But again, once you start getting very deep into the the banking system and so forth and so on. Uh, it's just pseudo intellectual bullshit. It's not really going to help you make money. Okay. What you need to know is the nuts and bolts. Okay. You need to know that inverted yield curves uh, do not incentivize banks to lend. And as a result, you're not going to get that money pumped into the economy and you're not going to have that income savings or profit savings. Uh, and then the economy starts to slow down all right so that's it for this video uh again we are seeing that uh, price action start coming down again uh in the ndx now when, when you go back to 2018 of august people are actually losing money and all this whipsaw back and forth back and forth is, is getting people frustrated and eventually uh, if this continues it's just going to give up they're going to sell everything dump the market, okay, until they, they reach a point where uh, they want to start investing again. They, they, they've, they've seen enough uh, valuation come off and say, okay, this is a good valuation to, to start stepping in again. And more likely than not, it's going to be uh, one of these points, okay? More likely than not, I think here, or just slightly below, all right? Um, so again, come down to patreon.com slash real macro, and I'll give you more uh, up-to-date data. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.